What's going on everybody? Just a quick video. I wanted to show this because I feel like it's common knowledge, but a lot of producers are still making this mistake and you can save a lot of CPU because some of these uh, libraries, especially the Spitfire ones, they get crazy, hard to load. So um, you see, I got a contact loaded here. I'm just gonna go in and load a piano like I normally would. Okay, so we got that loaded. What I see other producers do is they'll clone this contact or add in another instance of it. When what you can do is you can go into here into the MIDI settings. You can change the import to uh, you can change the input port into one, and then you can add a MIDI out. And then from this MIDI out, you change the port to one, and then you're going to change it to the corresponding channel and contact. Right now, we're going to put two, so I can show you the example. Okay, so you come back in here, you load the plugin. Now let's try and get something that's going to load quicker. So now all you do is you come in here and you see it's on channel two. You go to this MIDI out. It's corresponding. Okay, and if you want to add a third, all you have to do is clone, change it to channel three, come in, load another sound, pull this down. You can see it's three. I mean, you could just keep going on and on. And it'll just continue to load. Let me know what you guys want to see in the comments. I'm new to this, it's my first video, but uh, I'll try to keep them coming, and let me know if this helped, and subscribe and like if you can, thank you.